Our next award, the AAAS Award for Scientific Freedom and Responsibility, honors scientists and engineers whose exemplary actions have served to foster and protect these two ideals. This year's award goes to Dr. James Henson. Dr. Henson heads the NASA Institute for Space Studies, a division of the Goddard Space Flight Center, and is adjunct professor of Earth and Environmental Sciences Columbia University's Earth Institute. For the past 30 years, Dr. Hansen has displayed the ability to effectively explain complex technical issues that are relative to cutting edge scientific research. Dr. Hansen has always been determined to convey scientific information that affects the public's health and well being in an honest and direct way. Following through on his conviction, Dr. Hansen has met the scientist's social responsibility to provide policymakers and the public with unbiased assessments of climate change, its causes, and its implications for all of humankind. In the course of his many speeches, essays, testimonies, and press interviews, Dr. Henson has made powerful opponents and has beleaguered policymakers on all sides of the political spectrum. Dr. Hansen first began to testify about his findings in the 1980s, he has endured distress and sometimes outright opposition. In constantly fighting to keep his scientific opinions free from political influences and, and revision, Dr. Hansen has drawn attention to the broader issue of political interference in scientific communication, a process that he warns is, quote, in direct opposition the most fundamental precepts of science. Dr. Hansen, please join us on this. I hadn't realized uh, I was supposed to say something, but I, so I'll tell you uh, something I was thinking of on the train on the way out here. And that was, uh, I turned on a C-SPAN for a few minutes, uh, at lunchtime a couple of days ago, and it was this baseball. The hearings in Congress on use of performance enhancing. Uh, I, I've been saying for the last couple of years that the big problem we have in communicating uh, global climate change issue is the role of special interests who affect um, both political parties. Um, but, and, and I do think that's, uh, that's a critical issue. But there's another thing, it, in, and that's the politic politicization of, of any topic. I mean, because you can't think of anything better example than than baseball, in my opinion. I, I coached Little League, and I coached uh, Sandy Koufax League, 12 to 15 year olds. I can tell you that down to the youngest levels, the, a large number of kids think, like to think that they might be a baseball player. <coughs> and then, uh, but they catch any of this stuff, any of that stuff that's going on. So they certainly have become aware of this performance and answer things, and they realize that well, they don't have they don't have a chance of being part of the baseball um, unless they they will reach the conclusion unless they take uh, performance enhancers, they really don't have much of a chance. So it really is a very fundamental thing where you're destroying the the field of dreams is. Um, is destroyed by this. And so why is that not a bipartisan issue? I mean, I cannot imagine either party not wanting to clean up this problem. And yet, what do we see? When you, we see exactly the opposite. It just immediately becomes a political thing. And it then becomes hard, harder to fix the problem. And the same thing is, is what has happened with uh, climate change. There's no reason that both parties should not support uh, preserving the environment, preserving creation, however you want, want to say it. And yet it becomes a location. And I, I, I haven't figured out yet what you do about that. I mean, drawing attention to it might help a little bit. 
Anyway, so uh, thanks. This I appreciate your work very much.